Doodling is a common activity people do, whether they're kids aspiring to be artists or adults sitting on lunch break indulging in a quick escape before getting back to work. Ruth Rostrin, a professional handwriting analyst, says that we tend to doodle when we're bored or stressed. Because of this, we're usually only half conscious of what our drawings mean. It turns out that even the smallest things we find ourselves drawing can reveal the most about ourselves. Although interpreting doodles isn't scientifically proven, it still holds value, providing insights on ourselves and close loved ones. Curious to know what your doodles mean? Let's find out. Shapes. Do your doodles often have rounded shapes and curved lines? According to Rostrin, this reveals that you're often emotional, imaginative, and flexible. Common objects drawn in this shape include rounded trees, suns, flowers, fluffy clouds, balloons, cups, fruits, spirals, eyes, small animals, and clocks. Practical, down-to-earth individuals, on the other hand, enjoy drawing objects with square shapes, flat surfaces, or symbols of material security, such as boxes, houses, doors, books, ladders, fences, fireplaces, money, numbers, towers, and tables. Meanwhile, freedom-loving, ambitious, and determined people tend to draw objects with triangular and pointed corners, such as airplanes, kites, trains, stars, arrows, crowns, birds with beaks, mountains, lighthouses, and zigzags. Sizing and spacing. Size and spacing in doodles represents your lifestyle and how balanced you are in relationships. A single object drawn is supposed to represent you, while the background scenes represent parts of you and the people and things that are important to you. If your doodle is large, it means that you're outgoing, competent, and like to lead a busy, active life. A small doodle, on the other hand, shows that you're observant and prefer to live quietly and passively. Doodles that are spaced well in between shows that you're organized, mature, and balanced. The doodles you draw on the top of the page represent your dreams, ambitions, and aspirations, while drawings on the bottom of the page symbolize materialism and security. Doodles on the right side of the page show your ideal future and your relationships with the outside world, while drawings on the left-hand side represent your past, childhood memories, and your family life. Styles and strokes. Do your doodles often look rushed, lively, peaceful, or disturbed. The mood of your doodles represents your temperament. Meanwhile, the strength of your strokes represents your personality traits. People who are sensitive, hesitant, or shy tend to draw with light, short strokes, whereas those who are determined and have strong opinions tend to have long, firm strokes. Heavy shading and crisscrossing may also indicate signs of depression and anxiety. All the colors. Colors represent our moods. If you use a lot of dark colors, it generally means you're somber and serious. Meanwhile, light colors may indicate timidity, indecisiveness, and sensitivity. Bright colors represent liveliness and a cheerful disposition. Here is a key that shows what each of the colors represents. Pink equals soft feelings such as compassion, sensitivity, warmth, and affection. Orange is powerful, intense, and stimulating. Yellow stimulates feelings like excitement, but also fear. Red is associated with energy, activity, and strong feelings with love and hate. Green is linked to renewal, change, growth, and transformation. Turquoise represents calm detachment, self-control, and pride. Blue is associated with peace, trust, self-discipline, loyalty, and spirituality. Purple or indigo is connected to the royalty and symbolizes authority, deep insights, integrity, and dignity. Brown is associated with down-to-earth traits like practicality and reliability. Black represents facts and discipline. Symbols. 
Did you know that the objects we usually doodle symbolize our desires, fear, and dreams? Here is a key that shows what each symbol represents. Arrows symbolize your ambition and determined nature. If the arrow is sharp and angular, then your target is usually associated with career goals. Whereas, if the arrow is more fluid and decorated, then the target is something you're passionate about. Houses symbolize your need for security. A neat drawing of a house shows that your home life is well balanced. Whereas, a messy house, especially one deprived of windows, shows an unhappy and disorderly home life. Boats, planes, and other modes of transportation symbolize your need for an escape. People often draw these objects when they feel stuck in a situation. Hearts symbolize love and your romantic mood. Stairs or ladders symbolize your determination to climb the social ladder, but they can also represent your spiritual journey towards happiness. And flowers can mean different things depending on the way they're drawn. Flowers drawn with rounded petals and a rounded center show that you're friendly and family-centered. If the center of the flower is round, but the petals are pointy, it may indicate that you have a good heart, but others don't see it right away. Drawing perky flowers often means you're sociable, whereas drawing droopy flowers indicates that you may be burdened by responsibilities and worries. Pretty neat, huh? What doodles do you typically draw? Was your description accurate? We're also curious to hear which video of ours is your favorite. Please share your thoughts with us below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people and provide our support. Thanks for watching.